So how do college coaches use data analytics? A first really important piece is in benchmarking against their current players. You know, more and more of these schools are using, if not exactly Rapsodo, which is what we use at camp, they're using some tool like Rapsodo, TrackMan, HitTracks, BlastMotion, whatever the case is. And so they have really important and really in-depth analytics on their pitchers, on their hitters, on their players that they can use to then backtrack. I was having a conversation with the Duke coaching staff and one thing that they are highly focused on is they are taking their top performers and, and the players on their roster and they are using that data to build a regression back to say, okay, our top pitcher has a spin rate of X, a velocity of Y, a release angle of Z, what did that look like in high school so that we can find the next kid who has this type of ceiling and this type of potential on the mound for us so that they can continue to recruit the types of players that can bring them success on the field. Yeah, and I think something like that, looking at progression, really emphasizes some of those intangibles that we talked about. If they have the data on you where they see you can project to be a good player and they see that you're willing to be coachable, willing to put in that hard work, that makes it even easier for them to imagine how you can impact their program. Absolutely, which brings us right into the, the next point, kind of gauging the projectability for high school recruits. Uh, you know, as a, a high school senior, I was 5'7", weighed a buck 30 soaking wet. If you had looked at me, you might have said, wow, that's probably not a, it's probably not a college pitcher. Um, that, that kid's pretty small. But in an age of analytics, you can take that kid who might not fit the eye test or there's something special that stands out, but you can't quite put a finger on it. And you can really put some data behind that to say, oh, that kid is projectable because of X, Y, or Z. You, you look at that kid who's a little undersized and you say, you know what, he has, a, he has a live arm, which means high spin rate, or means he can be effective with a low spin rate or whatever the case may be. And this idea of projectability is crucial to the recruiting process. This is really the main thing that college coaches are assessing. Yes, they are looking at you as a player as you stand right now, but they are doing so in order to build out a model of what you look like in three, four, five years once you are in their program.